pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Iwana flag, which stands for the Iwana clubs, whose goal is to reach boys and girls with the gospel of Christ and to train them to serve Him. Hi kids, before I start the lesson, can you wait for just one minute while I drink my water? That was really good. Thank you for waiting. I was so, so thirsty and I just really needed to have water. Do you ever get really, really thirsty? Are you ever running around on a hot day or riding your bike and you're just so hot and you're so thirsty and all you want is a big ice cold glass of water? Or maybe you have a big bucket of popcorn and it has butter all over it and salt all over it and you, you can't even eat anymore because you just need some water? Well, we are going to re be reading a verse from Psalms and it talks about how you should be thirsty for something. And I want to see if you guys can figure out what the Psalm is telling you to be thirsty for. So Psalm 42, one through two says, a deer longs for streams of water. God, I long for you in the same way. I am thirsty for God. I am thirsty for the living God. Where can I go and meet with him? Hmm. What is David, the writer of the song, telling you to be thirsty for? That's right. David is telling you to be thirsty for God. He wants more of God, just like how you want more water when you're running outside and all sweaty. This verse reminds us that God restores and refreshes us when we spend time with him, just like how water refreshes and restores us when we're thirsty and when we're hot and when we're tired. This verse also encourages us to slurp up God's goodness and his teachings, just like how I just slurped up my water. So let's all make a slurping noise together. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Very good. So we are, I'm going to bring in my volunteer now, my beautiful volunteer, Ellie, two Ellie's on camera, wonderful. And we're going to take our cups of water and for you at home, I want you to take your imaginary cup and your imaginary straw and get ready to slurp up your water. So throughout the week, I want you to remember to to whenever you drink water or juice or anything, to remember this lesson and to remember that you should be thirsty for God. So we're going to practice now. Me and Ellie are going to show you how you can um, pray while you slurp up your water, okay? Ready? So in Ellie's head, she's going to think, God, I am thirsty for you and I want to know you more. And God, I love you so much, and I want to slurp up your teachings. And slurp up the last of it and say, Amen. 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 Wonderful. <laughs> um, so remember to try to do that throughout this week. So let's pray. Are you ready to pray, Ellie? All right, let's pray together. Lord, we thank you that you are refreshing like a cold drink of water. And we thank you that you have something new to teach us each week. Help us to slurp up your word. We love you, Lord. And it's in your son's name that we pray. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Good job. All right. Have a good week, kids.